वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व चैप्टर टू एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग करंट डिवाइडर रूल बेसिक इक्वेशन फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ करंट आई वन एंड आई टू ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्कट यूजिंग करंट डिवाइडर रूल इज प्रोवाइडेड हेयर we also will be using ohms law according to ohms law voltage across any resistance r is always equal to the product of current through that resistance and the value of resistance itself parallel equivalent resistance formula will also be utilized while solving this problem r equivalent of two parallel connected resistances is calculated by taking the product of both resistances dividing by their sum now move towards the problem exercise problem number 2.76 find voltage vab and v1 in given below figure this is the circuit diagram of given problem inside this network we have to find voltage between these two points labeled as vab and between these two points labeled as v1 so without wasting time let's proceed towards the solution for the calculation of voltage between these two points and these two points we should have the values of current through these all resistances right now current through these resistances is not provided first of all we will try to find out current through these resistances then we will use ohms law to calculate voltage across these resistances later on we will be able to calculate voltage across these points because these voltage are the sum of voltage across these individual resistances so for the calculation of current through these individual branches we will simplify the network we will start simplification of network from right side for that purpose right now we will omit these variables inside this network updated circuit diagram of this network is provided here these three resistances are connected in series connection so their equivalent resistance will be equal to the sum of all resistances values their sum will be equal to 12 ohm so we can replace these three resistances with a single resistance having the value of 12 ohm now these two resistances are converted into parallel connection we can find their equivalent resistance using this equation r equivalent is equal to the product of both resistances dividing by their sum in this case r1 will be 6 ohm and r2 will be 12 ohm place values inside this equation product of 6 and 12 will become 72 and sum of 6 and 12 will become 18 72 divided by 18 will become 4 ohm so we can replace these two resistances with a single resistance having the value of 4 ohm modify the circuit the circuit is simplified there are two parallel connected resistive branches that are connected across a constant current source so we can apply current divider rule on this network to calculate the current through this branch but before that we have to label these branch currents this branch current will be labeled as i1 and this branch current will be labeled as i2 we are interested to calculate the value of current i1 only so the equation for the calculation of current i1 using current divider rule will be i1 is equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 multiply by i into t here i into t is total supplied current in this case it is 6 ampere r2 is the resistance of opposite branch in this case it is 15 ohm and r1 is the resistance of same branch in our case it is the sum of 6 ohm and 4 ohm place values inside this equation i1 will be equal to 15 multiply by 6 divided by 10 plus 15 here 10 is the sum of 6 ohm and 4 ohm because both resistances are connected in series connection take the product of 15 and 6 it will become 90 and the sum of 10 and 15 will become 25 90 divided by 25 will become 3.6 ampere 
सो थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एम पे करंट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस ब्रांच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड करंट आई वन थ्रू दिस ब्रांच दिस सेम करंट विल फ्लो थ्रू दिस सिक्स ओहम रेजिस्टेंस बिकॉज ऑफ सीरीज कनेक्शन सो इन अदर वर्ड्स वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड करंट थ्रू दिस सिक्स ओहम रेजिस्टेंस करंट थ्रू दिस टू ओहम रेजिस्टेंस विल बी सिक्स एम पेयर बिकॉज ऑफ सीरीज कनेक्शन टू दिस सिक्स एम पेयर सोर्स नाओ करंट थ्रू दीज टू रेजिस्टेंसिस इज रिमेनिंग For that purpose, we will expand this network to previous step. If we remember, this 4 ohm was the combination of two resistances, 6 ohm and 12 ohm, connected in parallel connection. So we can replace this 4 ohm resistance with two different resistances having the values of 6 ohm and 12 ohm, and both are connected in parallel connection. Modify the circuit. In previous step we have calculated the value of current through this branch that is 3.6 ampere now we are interested to calculate the value of current through this branch only for that purpose we will again apply current divider rule in this case this branch current will be i1 and this branch current will be i2 we are interested to calculate the value of current i1 only the equation of current i1 will be R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by I into T. In this equation, R2 is the resistance of opposite branch, that is 6 ohm. R1 is the resistance of same branch. In this case, it is 12 ohm. And I into T is total supplied current. 3.6 ampere current will act as total supplied current for this parallel network. Place values inside this equation. I1 will be equal to 6 multiplied by 3.6 divided by 12 plus 6. Solve this equation to calculate the value of current I1 that will become 1.2 ampere. We have calculated the value of current through this branch. Now, if we remember, this 12 ohm resistance was the combination of three series connected 4 ohm resistances. So, we can replace this single 12 ohm resistance with three 4 ohm resistances connected in series connection. Modify the circuit. Now, this circuit includes all information regarding the values of resistances and current through these resistances. As we have discussed earlier current through this 2 ohm resistance will be 6 ampere because of series connection to constant current source current of this branch is 3.6 ampere and current of this branch is 1.2 ampere and this same current will flow also from this branch because of series connection now we will use ohm's law to calculate voltage across these four resistances because these resistances are engaged for the values of vab and v1 start from this 4 ohm resistance voltage across this 4 ohm resistance will be the product of current through this resistance that is 1.2 ampere and the value of resistance that is 4 ohm so voltage across this 4 ohm resistance will be 4.8 volt now we don't have to calculate voltage across this 4 ohm resistance because same voltage will be appearing across this 4 ohm resistance also due to same current through this resistance now we will calculate voltage across this 6 ohm resistance current through this resistance is 3.6 ampere and the value of resistance is 6 ohm So voltage across this 6 ohm resistance will be 21.6 volt. Similarly voltage across this 2 ohm resistance will be the product of 6 ampere and 2 ohm. That will become 12 volt. We have calculated voltage across all these resistances so we will place these calculated voltage along with their polarities in original circuit. Updated circuit diagram is here. Polarities of voltage are taken according to passive sign convention theory. According to this theory, current entering terminals are taken with positive sign and current leaving terminals are taken with negative sign. Polarity notation across these two points is taken with this reference. VAB is indicating that point A would be on higher potential than point B. So point A will be taken with positive sign and point B will be taken with negative sign 
and the polarity of v1 is taken minus sign on this point and positive sign on this arrowhead now first of all we will apply kirchhoff's voltage law inside this semi closed loop to calculate value of voltage vab for that purpose we will assume the direction of current inside this semi closed loop in counter clockwise start from here current entering terminal is negative so 12 volt will be taken with minus sign current entering terminal is negative so 21.6 volt will be taken with minus sign again across this 4 ohm resistance current entering terminal is negative so 4.8 volt will be taken with minus sign and similar case here current entering terminal is negative so vab will also be taken with negative sign now add these constants together their sum will be equal to minus 38.4 volt place minus vab on the other end side of equal to calculate its value so value of vab inside this network will become minus 38.4 volt similarly we will calculate value of voltage v1 for that purpose we will apply kirchhoff's voltage law inside this semi closed loop the direction of current will be counter clockwise start from here current entering terminal is positive because the direction of current is counter clockwise so 4.8 volt will be taken with positive sign next 4.8 volt will also be taken with positive sign because current entering terminal is positive and v1 will be taken with negative sign because current entering terminal is negative add these constants together their sum will be equal to 9.6 volt and place this minus v1 on the other end side of equal to calculate its value that will become 9.6 volt so the value of vab inside this network is minus 38.4 volt and v1 is 9.6 volt this was exercise problem number 2.76 thank you see you again in next video